Hi everyone, today's video is gonna be about an interesting genus of ants I encountered at our local nature reserve, which is endemic to Australia. I took a series of captivating images of a small group tending to pupae of butterflies. These pupae, which are also known as chrysalises, secrete sugary fluids, which the ants absolutely love. Before jumping to the images, let's learn about the genus a little bit. Meat ants are members of the genus Iridomyrmex. They are the most abundant and ecologically important group of ants in Australia. They mainly live in sandy, gravel soils in urban areas, forests and woodlands and are found throughout Australia. Iridomyrmex species are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals and forage during the day. They don't sting, but they are armed with defensive compounds produced by the anal gland, a structure unique to this subfamily. This is the source of the pungent and often unpleasant odors produced by many species in this family when they are disturbed, crushed or annoyed. They also do bite repeatedly and tend to be quite aggressive when defending their territories and nests. In rural Australia, farmers may use these ants to remove, for example, animal carcasses from their land. A dead animal placed on a nest would be reduced to bones over a period of weeks. Meat ants and other Iridomyrmex species are often involved in mutually beneficial symbiotic relationships with caterpillars of different butterflies. Many of the caterpillars that associate with ants have special organs that secrete sugars and amino acids. The caterpillars of many blues and hair streaks have beneficial relationships with ants that protect them in exchange for a sweet secretion produced in special caterpillar glands. Many Lycinid larvae use sun-making structures that produce vibrations in the substrate which attract the ants. These ant collaborators are also referred to sometimes as myrmicophiles. The pupae that you can see in these images are in the non-feeding stage in which the larval organs reorganize and transform into adult organs. Lysinid pupae sometimes have a dorsal honey gland, which you saw earlier. This gland is found in the middle of abdominal segment 7 and the sun producing structures are between segments 5 and 6. In most species, the undersides of the end segments of the abdomen are flattened and equipped with numerous minute anal hooks that fasten the pupa to a silk pad on a leaf. Other species like these hooks and pupate directly in the soil. Let's have a look at the rest of the images now. I hope you enjoyed this episode on this rather interesting group of ants. You might like this video as well, in which I captured both footage and extreme macros of another species drinking honey. That one looked quite fascinating too. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys very soon in the next one.